So I'm just going to quickly explain uh, what K-band segmentation is. So basically K-band segmentation allows you to select or deselect certain parts of the K-band for getting an alert or not. Um, so it's only, or until recently, it was only the R7NZ version that had the K-band segmentation. Um, that was an advantage over the uh, US version of the R7, which doesn't have K-band segmentation. Um, normally you shouldn't use two detectors on side by side, but I'm just going to do a quick demonstration here. So we've got the R7NZ um, in the orange here, and we've got the US uh, 129 firmware, uh, US um, R7 in the blue. Um, so the R7NZ has cake segmentation, the US version doesn't have cake segmentation. So if we were to encounter a false alert, say at 24.192, that is within the K2 segment on here which is turned off. So there's no way to stop the US version alerting to that apart from having better filtering and so on. But the filtering is generally the same on these detectors, it's a little bit different, uh, it's been tweaked a little bit, but it's still not enough to get rid of most of your false alerts. So segmentation is still by far the most useful way of doing it. So this is done by, essentially the New Zealand version is, is limited on K1 segment, which is what you'd normally only run, at 2390 to 2410, so anything above 2410, essentially it's not, not alerting to, it's just forgetting about it or it's not, it's just not registering the alert at all. Now we've got the R7 International version here. So it's exactly the same hardware, it's the same R7, got the same detection range and so on that you'd normally expect from an R7. Um, what it does have is, um, it's the main difference, or the main advantage if you like, is this has got user-definable K-band segmentation. So when it's turned up, it's also got the anti-theft personalization, which is unique to this, which allows you to um, give you an extra security benefit, in case it's lost or stolen. But say the main advantage, and the thing I want to talk about today, is the segmentation. So it's got K limits rather than having a K1 or K2 segment like you've got on the R7NZ version. It's got a K lim1 and a K lim2. The moment they're both set, both set to 2390. So when they're both set the same, that means I'll be full wide. So essentially, no, let's just wait for it. Front, K -band. So against the Bosch Nord 24193, we're getting that false alert, um, which we didn't get on there because that's segmented it out. This is currently running full wide. But what we can do we can change that so we can change our, our K limits so essentially the, the, the K limits work a bit like if you imagine goalposts so essentially if the signal is between the posts you'll get an alert um, provided that the lower one is below the lower limit is below the upper limit it'll work like a set of goalposts um, so now User mark User mark deleted. Oops. right so the main thing now this is essentially now similar segmentation um, so if we just don't want to point this directly at it, but if we just point this away from the detectors, there's no limit, there's no, there's no detection now. They're both segmented out, that false alert. So 
So let's now talk about the scenario where, let's say you're driving along and you're behind, say, a Holden Commodore. You've got this false alert going on your R7 from the Holden, it's its lane monitoring system, whatever. Um, because you're limited to just 2K segments and you can't change them, there's no way of alerting, forcing that out apart from just pressing the mute button. Um, which is fine, you can do that. Um, but then it, it gets annoying because it doesn't always mute it all the time. Um, you've also got still some other door openers and things which are still going to false within the K1 segment. Um, but let's say you're driving around, most of the time you use your R7 to say locally, say around Auckland or Wellington or somewhere. Most of the actual mobile camera vans in those areas only operate between 2397 and 2404. Um, and if that's the case, you could actually quite happily run your R7 with a narrower segmentation and you wouldn't get those alerts. So, so I've now just, for example, retuned the Bushnell to be about 2409. So at the moment they're both doing that. So K17 on this and I, uh, we're still essentially running the same segmentation on the R7 International. But what we can do, if we actually only wanted it to... alert to, say, I don't know, I mean I live, I live in Wellington. Um, most of the time I have my R7 running 2397 to 2404. So 2397, 2404. Just let that go completed. Still see that okay. So, Bushnell again, still at Holden Commodore frequency. The R7NZ is still alerting, but the international version has now just focused on what we need it to do. So that's the main advantage of this segmentation. You get exactly the same sensitivity uh, we've tested this, we've got some videos testing, comparing the R7NZ and the International, and you're essentially getting the same alert in pretty much the same place for the, ref the same reflex sound. But you're getting a lot less falsing, uh, falsing on, this, uh, on this system.